friends welcome to technique this is normal here and in this video we'll talk about the new samsung galaxy m20 so on this channel we have done the unboxing of the samsung galaxy m20 we have done the gaming review we have done the camera review so we have also done a couple of speed tests and comparisons of the samsung galaxy m20 so samsung galaxy m20 is the latest device from samsung uh, it is really creating a lot of buzz uh, uh, with uh, the new, new devices Samsung has already said that it will be competing with uh, the likes of Xiaomi or uh, Redmi Note 6 Pro even Realme has done a really good job online so to compete all these brands uh, Samsung has uh, uh, launched uh, the, the M20 so price wise and specification wise you could see that the M20 is a pretty good uh, hardware uh, it, it comes uh, with uh, pretty good hardware in the form of the new Exynos 7904 it's an octa-core chipset it may not be as good as the performance of uh, the Snapdragon 636 or the 660 uh, but then uh, it's still uh, a decent performing chipset and it also has large capacity 5000 mAh battery again a pretty good uh, solid offering and it also comes with all the options including face unlock fingerprint scan dual camera setup uh, and uh, the uh, the dew drop notch is also included you can see this this again a good uh, feature so overall it's a good package but then is it a really perfect device or the best out there for the price segment that's what we are going to uh, tell you in this video so if you look at the competition now uh, we have the realme 2 pro the realme u1 the honor 8x the asus zen Fold max pro m2 and even the redmi note 6 pro these are the competitive devices uh, when you look at the samsung galaxy m20 so uh, samsung galaxy m20 has a pretty good battery life decent performance good uh, water drop notch but it also has its share of cons so in this video we will particularly look at what are the cons of uh, the samsung galaxy m20 so the first and foremost reason we would say is the lack of android 9.0 for a phone launched in 2019 so samsung has launched uh, uh, the uh, the m20 with uh, uh, the experience ui so uh, this experience ui is something which we have seen on a lot of samsung smartphones so the experience ui is exactly the same we have seen in fact a lot of apps from samsung has been removed on this device so it does does come with uh, decent options but then the major con we would say is a first uh, smartphone released from samsung in 2019 and already uh, the android 9.0 is almost like six months old now so ideally it should have come with android 9.0 but instead uh, samsung has launched it with uh, the 8.1 oreo so that's uh, something which we feel it's not a great feature and samsung's mid-range smartphones are not that great when it comes to update cycles so it's even uh, worse than what uh, honor does to its smartphone so uh, in that aspect we feel uh, the uh, whether we are not really sure about whether uh, the m20 will get an update to buy probably in the next five six months it might get but then uh, by the time uh, the new version of android might have come so that's reason number one now second reason is uh, uh, the gaming performance so if uh, now if you look at uh, smartphones launch in the sub 15k price segment a lot of smartphones have great uh, gaming hardware uh, specifically for playing uh, uh, heavy games like PUBG and uh, asphalt 9 so when you look at uh, the gaming performance of the uh, the m20 that's where it's really poor performance you could see a lot of lag and frame skips and uh, the major issue we felt was uh, the heating on this device we have done a detailed gaming test of this device so uh, you can have a look at that video and uh, see how poor the gaming experience is and also it reached almost like 47.5 degrees that's uh, something which is really really high uh, to be very frank we haven't tested uh, any smartphone in the last year which crossed uh, like 46 47 only very rarely we could see a uh, 46 47 uh, uh, degrees uh, when gaming so samsung galaxy m20 fails in that aspect so that's uh, reason number two now third reason is the cameras so uh, if you look at uh, most of smartphones in the sub 15k or even the 20k price segment almost all of them are concentrating on the cameras be it the realme the xiaomi asus all the brands are concentrating on cameras because camera is one of the very important things uh, or criteria people look at uh, when you buy a new smartphone so samsung has used uh, a dual camera setup on this device so we have a 13 megapixel uh, primary camera with f stop 1.9 aperture and a secondary 5 megapixel 120 degree wide angle camera and on the front panel it has uh, uh, an 8 megapixel shooter uh, on the uh, or for selfies rather now if you look at the camera samples we have taken with uh, the samsung galaxy m20 it came out to be pretty much average uh, it is lacking of uh, details and uh, it was not the best performance we would have expected from samsung 
uh, especially when the competition is really stiff uh, and uh, the camera smartphones are now really one of the highlights of uh, the sub 15k price segment so uh, both the rear camera was kind of average the selfie camera was again pretty much poor uh, in terms of the details and uh, even the edge detection was kind of average so overall the camera was kind of uh, pretty much average not really uh, up to the what the competition offers so these were the three major reasons we felt uh, uh, the cons of uh, the Samsung Galaxy M20 and apart from that there are some really good things uh, which uh, you need to look at because uh, uh, it's not just about the cons because the display looks good it's a water drop notch uh, so that's one of the highlights of uh, the device the water drop notch looks pretty good and Samsung has not omitted any sensors on this device because if you look at the previous Samsung uh, J series phones a lot of sensors were missing but then uh, this device comes with uh, all the magnetic sensor gyroscope and uh, ambient light sensors so these sensors are not uh, uh, missing on this device and apart from that the battery life seems really good it's a 5000 mAh large capacity battery so you can get almost like one and a half days of battery life uh, with uh, uh, the Samsung M20 so apart from that uh, uh, the pricing also looks quite good uh, so if you are looking for a budget offering at around 11k 12k price segment this is definitely a good offering but then uh, you should be also looking at uh, some of the other smartphones launched in this price segment including Realme 2 Pro, Asus Zenfone Max Pro M2, uh, the Redmi Note 6 Pro, the Moto, uh, uh, Moto One Power, even the Nokia 6.1 Plus. All of these devices we feel has something or the other better than the Samsung Galaxy M20. But uh, then uh, the Samsung's brand name is something which a lot of buyers look at when you buy the new smartphone. So those are the reasons to buy the device and uh, also not to buy the device. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy M20. So hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. This is Nimal signing off. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.